obviously you've been here before, but it's been a little bit of a, a little while. How are you feeling just the night before fight night? Uh, actually, feeling pretty good. It's surprisingly, but I'm feeling pretty good. How has this experience been getting back into shape, getting back into fight shape? How's it all been? It's been the craziest thing you ever could imagine, brother. It's been really, really crazy, you know? Uh, your body have a hard time holding up to all the strenuous work, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta take a little bit more time time off, or a few more ice baths, a little more hot, cold treatment, and um, make it happen. Is that something that you needed to be this age to know how to properly manage your body? Because when you were younger, would you have just pushed yourself and, and maybe hurt yourself? Yeah, when I was young, I would have pushed myself. But at this point, you know that if you push yourself, you're going to hurt yourself. So if you push yourself too much, you won't get an event. Now the event's here. I think the lead up you've mentioned a couple of times has been sort of up and down for you. Now that the fight itself is here, are you able to, to put, you know, the two minute rounds out of your mind? Is it just about the fight itself now? Just about the fight itself now. With, uh, with Mike, what are you expecting from him? Are you expecting the Mike that was started out his career that knocked out Trevor Burbick? Or are you expecting the Mike that didn't look that great in his last few fights and eventually retired on a stool? Which Mike Tyson are you expecting to fight tomorrow night? I'm expecting, I'm expecting that early Mike because he's rejuvenated. He's been out 15 years. He knows what it's like to miss boxing. He realizes what he had, and he's seeking to get that back now because when he fought the last few fights he fought, he wasn't really in a mindset of being who he once was. His mindset had dwindled. The fight had dwindled. Now the fight is back. So now he has a desire to want to come out and be who he once was, do what he know he once could do. So um, with that being said, you got to expect a good Mike to come. I mean, you got to think about it, man. I seen Mike a few, a few, a few, probably about two years ago. Looked like he was about almost 250 pounds. Now he's 220. <laughs> you don't think he's serious? <laughs> Let's, let's talk about the, the serious conversation. I can't imagine how, for you and Mike, how frustrating it must be to put your bodies through a training camp and then right at the, the week of the fight, people are going to be like, ah, it's, it's not real this, it's not real that. Is that frustrating for you? And, and do you think the moment the fight starts, people are going to realize this is a real fight? For us, we don't ever look at it as not real. He knows I'm Roy Jones. Roy Jones come out there to do you bad. I know he's Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson come out there to take you out. So it's like, to us, none of that counts. We don't hear what they say. We don't even hear what the commission say. It's not our job. Our job is to go out and do what we do. Do you anticipate having to spend maybe the first and second, maybe even third round, just sticking and moving before? Yeah, that's what I expect. I want to come out early. Uh, I have to figure out my ways and figure out my times to attack. But I do have to know, let, let him know that I'm there. But I want to try to work him into a couple rounds, get him started, then see how quick I can get him to fatigue. If I can get him to a fatigue situation, then I can work a lot better. But early, he's very dangerous, and he's probably going to be dangerous all night. Even when he's fatigued, he's dangerous. So, there, there are some guys, especially if they're a bit smaller than you, if you want to fatigue them, you can lean on them, get in the clinch, and sort of pull them down. But for him, he's obviously a, a bigger guy, and he's, he's much more explosive. Is that that's sort of off the cards for you, or do you think you have the strength to hold him in the clinch and try and pull on his body and get, get the lactic acid going? I do have to hold him on the clinches and try to get the lac lactic acids going because he's very dangerous when he's at his own distance. So you got to get all the way up on him, all the way away from him. Is it different fighting a guy like Mike because you watched him in his prime, you know every combination he has, right? We know the, the, the punches he likes. So does that make it easier for you knowing like, well, if this left hook's coming, the uppercut's probably coming after, or, or does it just make no difference at all? It makes no difference because you know it, but you don't know what speed is gonna be at. And that speed will determine, be determined by who he is that particular night, how he's feeling that night. So it's like, he know my combination somewhat too, but, you know what speed or velocity I'm throwing at, because I'm a, I'm an off speed thrower. You know what I mean? So you never know what, which one will have a zip on it, which one is not. Same with him. Do you think in the build up to this, obviously because he hasn't boxed for so long and because he was such a big celebrity in his prime, do you think people are sort of underestimating you, or sort of it's like the Tyson show and you're not getting the respect that you deserve? Um, I don't really know. I really care because for me, I know I got to go out and be the best me that I could possibly be. And that's all my goal is. So what people think about it. Psh y'all must have forgot <laughs> <laughs> i know tomorrow night comes first but um there's a guy you've long wanted to box called anderson silver mm -hmm. he's now out of the ufc he's a free agent is that something you would be interested in if this goes well tonight i'm almost positive that will probably be the next thing we do because he's been wanting it i've been wanting it so this got to go great perks good luck tomorrow night thank you how you doing we were just talking to Badu Jack. He's 37 years old. He was saying he can't imagine ever fighting at 50. 
51. He can't imagine going this far. What would Roy Jones have said, like, say, after the second Antonio Tarver loss or something, if you'd said, you're still going to be fighting at 51 and you're going to be fighting Mike Tyson? I wouldn't have thought I was going to be fighting Mike Tyson, but if you put it like that, I said, well, you're probably right. Because if I ever get an opportunity to fight Mike Tyson, I'm probably not going to say no. Did you imagine you'd be going at 51 still? No, still I did still? not. No clue, no way in the world. I thought it was over with. I thought I was done at 50. How was getting thought it was going to be? Uh, just that, I mean, I can't believe that I'm able to maintain my speed at 51 years old because at 51, I'm still faster than 95% of the boxing world. And it shocks me when I watch them. Like, how in the world can this be? You know, but it's the craziest thing ever. But, um, you know, the aches and pains are there <laughs> because you are 50, 51, and uh, they're going to be there no matter what you do. So it's like you just have to have a mental strength to overcome and overcome the things, little elements that get in your way. You got to be able to step on them and keep going. The athletic world has changed, hasn't it? Since oh, yes, we it were, has. Since we were young. I mean, yes, it, it has. This was not possible. When I was a kid, 30 was old for a fighter. <laughs> right. it's, it's, just, and it's not even in, just in boxing. It's, you see, you know. The guitar braided, the like Drew Brees, you know. Mm -hmm. right. Everybody right. knows. So. What, does that, what does that tell you? I mean, is it, it's about advances in nutrition and science and stuff, but also. It's about advances in science and nutrition, too, but. You can't say that all the time because some of that stuff has got worse. Just that people are learning to take better care of themselves and how to preserve their bodies for the long run. So I think that's that's the biggest difference. You're excited to fight Mike. Is it disappointing that under the circumstances it's not going to be with, it's not going to be with fans in the, in the arena? Uh, yeah, it's very disappointing because fans are what really drive me. So if I could have fans, if we had fans in a chair, me on, <laughs> can you imagine? I mean, that's one of my biggest biggest additives is to having a crowd because that's who I come to perform for. Now, don't get me wrong, there'd be an audience all over the world that would be watching, but and I try to relate to those people too. I gotta try to remember that because sometimes having them there reminds you about the ones that are watching because you're getting an immediate reaction from the ones who are there and their reactions go for everybody that's watching. Now you don't have that immediate reactions of the ones that are there. So it's kind of like gonna be hard. You gotta make a note to yourself, remember. The world is watching you still got to entertain the world not just these people here what what will be a success for you coming out of tomorrow um a success would be to look good to um not get caught with nothing stupid um just be me if i can see myself being me that's success thank you Ro. thank, thank you. you how are you Ray? good um talk to us about how you ended up coming here it's a, a long journey about Obviously, Mike needed an opponent, and there were a lot of names to consider. But uh, what made you the best opponent for them? Um, the names, the names add up. You know, when you get a A side for something, you also need a good B side for something. You know, it's like the East is no good if they don't have a Western Challenge. The AFC in football is no good without the NFC Championship. You understand me? A National League, American League baseball. Every side you gotta have. Every time you have something good, you gotta have an equal but opposite force. Mike Tyson. Unpredictable, crazy, entertaining, exciting. Who else over there? Roy Jones. Crazy, entertaining, exciting. Wow. When you mention that, the world went crazy. I mean, if you think about it, brother, you can announce any fight you want to announce. But none has ever come along and broken the pre-sale pay-per-view records. What does that tell you? People are anticipating what they're going to see Saturday night. So who other than me should have been chosen for an opponent? Now, what would have been bad is if I would have looked at it and said, oh, no, I'm too old, I don't want to get hurt, and ran from it. But it's not about me. You understand me? It's about people being in a bad situation right now. People wanting something, wanting to see something to give them hope. People want to be positive. Well, I'm here to get that hope. So it's like, it's the biggest opportunity of a lifetime for me the biggest challenge ever for me, but we're facing that right now in life. You understand me? So why not take that challenge right now and be a positive for the people that are stuck inside and can't do nothing or they're losing their businesses or wish they had an opportunity to do something good. A lot of families are gonna to be together. It's Thanksgiving weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, for those who will be paying the $50, what kind of a match and product will they expect as far as- When you as get Roy Jones, you're gonna get your money worth. You can believe that. And 
you were the fighter of the decade in the 90s, and at one point you guys were on a collision course to fight each other. Do you wish that you just had that chance in, in your absolute prime so you could have really shown what you're capable of? I do, yet. God's time is the best time. If this is the time for it, then this is the time for it. So it's like I would have liked to have did it back then, but God knows best. And now must be the right time because it happened at a time where you almost can't say no. The whole, not just us, the whole world needs it more than we do. The world wants it. The world is starving for entertainment right now. The world is starving for positivity right now. You know, the world is starving for being back together right now, especially this country. So it's like right now is the perfect operative time to have a fight of this magnitude. And lastly, is this the new chapter of your life? No, 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 no. Uh, no. Exhibition no. fights moving forward? No, 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 no. I'm, listen, listen. Too many people want to beat me up in a way. Like, I'm not wasting time. Uh, I'm giving him that shot because I also want to beat him up. So we both want to beat each other up. The rest of them, they don't mean nothing. He means something. Doesn't get any bigger than Tyson. Good not luck tomorrow, all. Roy. Thank you. Thank you. Eh? Good. Thank you all.